Part C asks us to calculate the exact average rate that we burnt calories during this 30 minute period. So we're going to calculate the average value on 0 to 30, which as we know from our definition of average value is 1 over our interval, 30 minus 0, times the integral from 0 to 30 of C of T dt. Now, First, let's go ahead and calculate this integral from 0 to 30 of C of T, 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 talk about its meaning a little bit, and then we'll make it an average value. So this is little C of T, D, T. Now here's the thing we've got to be careful about. This C of T is defined differently for different intervals. So we're going to have 0 to 10, the C of T, D, T. We're going to have a different calculation from 10 to 20 of C of T dt. And finally, a different one on 20 to 30 of C of T dt. Now, in part A, we calculated this. So this is already done. So let's, let's see what these look like in terms of our formula. 0 to 10 here of negative 0 0.05 T squared plus t plus 10 dt. Here it's just a constant. We really, as we've seen in previous sections, don't need to do this with an antiderivative, but it's not going to make it wrong. And then finally, from 20 to 30, c of t is def defined as negative 0.05 t squared plus 2t minus 5 dt. Again, we calculated this in the first video that came out to be 400 thirds. This one, that should not be a zero, excuse me, that should be from 10 to 20. This one, notice if we look, it's just a rectangle with a height of 15 and a base of 10, so 150. So that's a, just a multiplication for calc our calculation. This one, I'm not going to go through the calculation in here. It's similar to what we did in A, just slightly different value. It comes out to also actually be 400 thirds, which we could also see from the symmetry in our graph. So what this tells us is we're going to burn 1250 over 3, or approximately 416.67 calories during this 30 minute workout. Now let's turn it into our C average. Well, we're doing 416.67 calories total over 30 minutes. So to get the number per minute, we're going to divide by the number of minutes, so 416.67 divided by 30 or multiplied by 1 30th. And we get that on average we burned 13.89 calories per minute. All right. So if we look, if we were to plot that, 13.89 is going to be roughly about right here. This is going to lead us into part D. Part D says, is there any place where our rate is equal to our average rate? Well, that has to be true. Because to have that average rate, at some point, you either have to be going a little bit below it, and at some point you have to be going a little bit above it. So there's actually two points, if we put in our average rate, right here and right here. To find those two average rates, what we're going to do is set our average rate equal to the equation for rate on each of those. So to find this one, excuse me, we're going to set our rate, which is negative 0.05t squared plus t plus 10 equal to our 13.89. Now solving this, you can you subtract both the 13.89 off of both sides and you can use the quadratic formula. That will work just fine. You're going to get you know, only one, you're going to get two answers. Only one of them lies between 0 and 10. And that answer is going to be t is about 5.286 minutes. Okay. Now, like we said, there's another point. And, but now over here, we've got to use this formula. So negative 0 0.05t squared plus 2t 
minus 5 equals 13.89. Solving this, again, you're going to get two answers. Only one of them is going to be in between 20 and 30. So t is about 24.714 minutes. And at that time, that we're, we're burning off exactly what our average rate is. So there's always going to be at least one point where we're equal to our average rate of change over an interval.